Well, greetings everyone and welcome to our latest fund manager update. My name is Tom Beckett and I'm part of the Chief Investment Office here at Canaccord Genuity Wealth Management UK. I'm delighted today to be joined by Sahel Sheikh, who is the CIO of Fulcrum Asset Management and the lead influence on the Fulcrum Income Fund, which we own across certain client portfolios. So Sahel, thank you for joining us. Um, you said many interesting things at the investment conference. We've only got time for, for a few today, but I think the key point you made in your introduction was at the moment, we can't take diversification for granted. For those slightly less knowledgeable markets, myself included, what do you mean by that statement? What I specifically mean there is the, the tendency for bonds to diversify equities is something that people have taken for granted for the last several decades. Because it's worked. <laughs> because it's worked. And the reason it's worked is because the macroeconomic shocks that have been at play have been those supportive of that correlation regime, i.e. growth has generally slowed down, central banks have cut rates, bond yields have come down and protected the equity portfolio. So the key point I'm trying to make here is that if you have a different shock, for example, a supply shock or a monetary policy shock or a fiscal shock, we can't expect that bond that equity correlation to be exactly the same. And I think this really started off in the pandemic where there was a positive shock where bonds and equities rallied very strongly together and that created a false sense of security. But in 2022, and again in August this month, we see the opposite happen. Mm. where inflation is actually more persistent, stocks and bonds drop together, that diversification has failed. So things get more difficult, which we'll touch on the next question.